there's like a supermarket here, which is so much closer, like literally half as close. A quarter, honestly, because we've been walking about 25 minutes to the other market. Yeah, for groceries. So we just saw this market. And we were like, are you kidding? Good to know. Yeah. So we're gonna do this and then head probably back to the apartment, drop off everything, and then... Head to the bookstore. I'm so excited. Unfortunately, that was a bust because she only had a certain amount that she could give us. So we're just gonna go to another one, which is actually closer to where we are going. Splendid, located in Buenos Aires, Argentina, is often considered one of the most beautiful bookstores in the world. Originally built in 1919 as a grand theater, it was later converted into a cinema before being transformed into a bookstore in 2000. The building retains its stunning architectural features, including ornate theater boxes, a domed ceiling painted with stunning frescoes, and a stage that now serves as a cafe. This blend of literary and architectural splendor makes it a unique cultural landmark and a must visit for book lovers and tourists. In 100 years after after the theater was built, the now bookstore was officially named the world's most beautiful bookstore by National Geographic. Figure it out. We're so exhausted and ready for a shower and bed. Good morning and welcome to another vlog. 
feel like I'm cutting off his head. But welcome to another vlog. Today we're going to. It has like all the goodies on the top, but it has like the layers, layers of like coconut and granola. So good. Today we're checking out the botanical garden, a lush oasis in the heart of the city. Located in the Palermo neighborhood of Buenos Aires, mosquitoes already. Yeah. And designed by renowned French Argentine landscape architect Carlos Thays in 1898. The garden boasts diverse sections inspired by different styles. Here we're heading into the greenhouse, which is one of the garden's most notable features. The Victorian style greenhouse houses exotic plants from around the globe. This was seriously the cutest moment. We were setting up the camera and these girls came by and thought it was just the greenhouse camera and come to say hi, which is so cute. Hi girls. Oh, that's yours. I thought that was the... <laughs> With over 5,500 species of plants, trees, and shrubs, the garden is a living museum. From native Argentine flora to rare specimens from distant lands, it's a botanist's paradise. learning the gardens library and herbarium offer extensive resources on botany and horticulture making it a hub for research and education they also offer workshops and tours for all ages
puedo vivir Te elijo a ti Es lo que me hace sentir Te elijo a ti Lo que siento es tan fuerte Imposible no elegirte Ahora que estás aquí Lo que siento es tan fuerte Imposible no elegirte Ahora que market because I need tampons and I'm looking at they only have the ones without the applicators so I was looking at the menstrual cups and I just noticed the price of them in Nashville I brought yeah I bought a menstrual cup and I forgot it so I was looking I'm looking at other ones so I bought it in the States for $40 right $40 and here it is dollars there is such a problem when you're paying so much for a freaking menstrual cup in the states and like everywhere else it's so cheap like I'm looking at the pads and tampons and all that stuff feminine care and it's all so inexpensive I'm just it's annoying <laughs> it's cool that they that everywhere else doesn't have to pay like the markup like the US does but it's a little annoying that the US is freaking ghetto and we do have to pay a markup for everything stay in this Airbnb and it's pretty bittersweet. This is the apartment that we started our digital nomad journey in. With just our carry-on luggage and each other, we made this place our first home in Buenos Aires. This is where we had our holy shit, do we really just do this? Did we really just move to Argentina moment? We loved this place and we'll miss it, but we're excited to make memories in other places. ceiling like wall windows right there the spider and nice balcony so here's the kitchen we're still cleaning up stuff but here's the kitchen it's pretty nice here's the bathroom we have toilet in the day Here's the bedroom, which is super bright. <laughs> Closets. We loved the big closets. And there's a full balcony outside. And this is the grill. There's also a door right here to go out, but we're just using the slider. And here's balcony. It's so nice. We loved sitting out there. Our next place has a balcony too. This is the Airbnb we've been staying at and it's just been so cute and cozy and nice and bright and airy which has been amazing. So yeah on to the next Airbnb.